Here's how to replace some sensors on your vehicle and save you a lot of money. I had my check engine light come on and the first thing that I did is I went down and bought an onboard diagnostic scanner, also referred to as an OBD2. These range from about 38 bucks to 700 bucks. This particular model is 99 bucks. It plugs into a universal connection located either under your dash or under the hood. It's very simple to use. What you want to do first is turn your engine to the on position. Not the start position, but the on position. Hit the read button. It'll spit out the code of P0161. Went on the internet, found that code, found out exactly what was wrong. The sensors are located on your exhaust system. There's four of them. Two before and two after the converter. I sprayed a little bit of WD-40 on the sensor, waited five minutes, and that helps get remove the sensor. They make special tools for this. It has It's a socket with a slit in the side. That's for the wire. Very easy to use, but in this case, on my vehicle, I couldn't use it. I had to use an open-end wrench. First thing you want to do is remove the connector. Then remove the sensor. It should be rather easy by now. You want to be careful make sure that you don't break the wires or twist them off because you will be using the old sensor later on. With the sensor I purchased, I bought it without the connector, just the straight wires. It saves you about 20 bucks. I'm going to use the old connector and hook it up. They also make sensors with heaters and some without. The one that I'm showing here actually has a heater. I'm using the old sensor, I'm cutting the wires and I'm going to connect it to the new sensor. There's four wires. The two white wires are for the heater, the gray wire is for the ground, and the black wire is for the sensor itself. Connect it with butt connectors. Once you've done that, make sure that you've got it sealed up nicely so that salt does not get in there and corrode it later on. I also use an anti-seize compound that you put on the threads in case you want to remove it later on. Connect up your connector again, install your sensor, and make sure the wires are not touching the exhaust system. Once you do that, go back to the reader, hit erase, blow out the old code, hit read, and everything should work fine. You're ready to go.